Hi everyone, this is Mike89. Welcome to this addendum to my Sonic 3 and Knuckles speedrun tutorial. Uh, this is going to show the changed method for uh, Sandopolis 1. Uh, and this method is only possible because we now carry Tails as partner through the run with us. Uh, this won't require any input on the second controller. This is all stuff you can manipulate Tails to do just with Sonic's movement. Uh, so here we go. Uh, so, Sinopolis 1. Starts out in the usual way. Uh, then what we're going to do, this first uh, pillar here, uh, this pillar is everything right now. Uh, so you can see that instead of being a straight slope uh, that this block gets pushed along, uh, there's actually some discrete drops. So when we push it, it drops down 1, 2, 3, 4, it actually drops down six times before it drops um, off the edge. Uh, just as, like, you keep a count in your head. So one, two, three, four, five. Six. It actually gets a little bit quicker because the gaps between them are smaller between, say, the first one there and the last one there. Um, just as soon as it drops to the sixth, just as soon as it drops the sixth time, uh, time a jump for then and Tails will actually push it along a little bit further before he jumps himself. Uh, now what we're going to try and do is stand on the very edge of this platform and at the same time have Tails move off it. Uh, it's actually very similar to Metropolis 3 in that aspect but a little easier to see what's going on. So, we, so there we see we've pushed uh, Tails off the platform uh, now we actually want to move a shade back to the right there's only one pixel that Sonic can stand on for this to work, and it's actually the second one from the far left. There's not really a very good cue for it, but at the moment, Sonic is standing as close to the left edge as he possibly can. So, you'll see, as I inch back to the right, I actually move one pixel across to the right. And what happens there is that um, if you if you time your tap of right so that it's when Tails is on the ground because you see he tries to jump to try and catch up with you um, if you time it so that he shifts to the right when he's on the ground he'll actually push the block the rest of the way and um, it'll fall now as you can see it's falling right alongside the wall and remember how I said it was very similar to Metropolis 3 well all you have to do um, if you pause the game about there, so any time after Sonic's feet uh, start to get into the floor there, but before this platform reaches the path that it's about to go on, there's, uh, there's about four or five frames that you can pause it on here. Uh, it's actually fairly lenient at this point. Uh, now, so at the moment I've got the game paused. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpause holding right and then release right as quickly as I can. So, so you see that happens. Um, if you hold right for too long, you'll actually be skidding when you pause here. But I've only touched right for a couple of um, game frames. Uh, so I now pause while I'm on this slope. And then I try and unpause and then jump as soon as possible afterwards. And what will happen is you'll go absolutely flying off this slope because you're at zip speed and you're launching off a, off a ramp. So you get massive height. But you have to make sure that you hold this jump the whole way because as soon as you let it go, uh, your speed just dies. So you have to hold the jump the whole way like that. And ideally, what happens is what happens here, and you activate the level wrap the same as Tails or Knuckles would. Uh, from here, everything else is the same. So I'll just quickly show that si that series of inputs uh, from the start of the stage with no interruptions.